How long does it take to learn a language? Which country is the most literate? Do adults learn differently than kids? Is it lunchtime yet? Glad you asked! So what does gardening have to do with literacy? Well, I'm glad you asked, Josh. The garden is a celebrated summer tradition at our Open Door Learning Center Arlington Hills on St. Paul's east side. But don't take my word for it. I'll let the students and staff and volunteers tell you all about how it works as a teaching and learning tool. The garden, I think, was started six or seven years ago. And it was started as a way, uh, an authentic way, for people to learn English, also grow their own food, and many of our students are, uh, were gardeners in their countries. I'm uh, Conte. I'm uh, Conte and uh, I'm Jalapeno. So still big, 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 big. Lots of jalapenos. We started out with students in our highest level class. Um, identifying foods, vegetables they would like to grow. They looked up pictures on the web um, and the names of the plants and then they went to the lower classes and had students circle uh, what they wanted to grow. So we actually took a survey. I think we, we included just about everything in the garden. There's a garden committee and they take a look at the garden together and that garden committee is composed of students from beginning um, uh, beginning advanced to advanced. They will determine what needs to be done in the garden that week. They will write out a work order which would be similar to something someone would find at a job and uh, then they go to explain it to the classroom that's going to perform that work for the week. And then those students um, divide up the chore and schedule them to do it and um, complete the task. Also, we need to weed and throw away the weeds. We will get buckets. Those teachers are seeing um, the managerial skills that they have learned from helping develop um, surveys for what we want to plant, um, doing work orders, and being in charge really of the garden with um, the teacher serving as um, not the person who knows everything, but the person who can guide them. You are the experts on our jalapenos. Yes, yes, you know a lot about jalapeno peppers. She looks, they say, Lena, these peppers good? No good. Oh, no, oh, two yeah. more days. No, one week too small. <laughs> one week. <laughs> and when we harvest, the students take the harvest in, we weigh it, and we keep track of it. One more out. So, two pounds, thirteen pounds. These are also these would also be important work skills. Um, keep track of what you're doing, like uh, inventory skills. What is this? What color? well-rounded activity that brings in all the four basic skills, listening, speaking, writing, um, reading, and so many soft skills you would use at work, uh, but also higher level managerial skills, and it's based on what the students wanted to do, so it's student-directed. I think it's a project that has brought us all together and um, helped make us more enthusiastic about what we're doing. So that's really been awesome to see.